Councillor Curran, just to confirm that the, the meeting's now been recorded um, for, for future viewing on uh, the Council's YouTube channel. Um, there's one apology that I've received, and that's from Councillor Beveridge. Okay, any declarations of interest? No declarations? Okay. We'll go to the planning application. The first application is pages 8 to 19, EG Limited, roadside service development comprising petrol filling station, convenience store, drive through restaurant, drive through coffee shop, and associated access car parking and landscaping at Unit 1, Flemington Industrial Estate, Craig Nuke Street, Murrow. The recommendation is Grant. Agreed. Is that agreed? Agreed. Thank you. Next one is pages 20 to 48, Green Gears East Wind Farm Limited. And it's a construction of wind farm comprising of eight wind turbines, including permanent meteorological mass site, entrance access tracks, crane handstandings, etc. And that's at the site to north of Easterton, Airdrie Road, Calder Crooks. Recommendation is Grant. Is that agreed? Agreed. 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 Councillor uh, Curran, sorry to interrupt um, your flow of the meeting. I'm not sure. Councillor Burgess is waving in the background, so I'm not sure whether he was wanting to try and get in on the last application. Yeah, um, convener, I'm not happy with that, how quickly you did that, and I didn't get a chance sorry. to get in. Sorry about that, Bob. I didn't see you. Yeah, I was, I was on, I was on the mic as well. But anyway, the, 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 there's a few questions on that that I wanted to ask. But uh, there seems to be a few that it goes through anyway with any uh, questions being asked. Uh, there, there's quite a few on the job losses, and one in particular as well to add to that is there is there a, a car wash with this garage as well, because there's a car wash that's right on the roundabout uh, which would be impacted as well, especially all the local businesses. Uh, nobody's been discussing this. seems to be a cherry picking exercise by McDonald's. They pick on a site that's going to have 4,000 houses next to it, a college, and schools. Uh, it's just to be, uh, it's just getting pushed right through without any questioning on it. Um, I, I can only put arguments towards uh, the whole thing. But at the end of the day, if there's not going to be any discussion, I can only voice my opinion. I do apologise, there should always be discussion if it's required. Uh, Lorna, you want to speak to the yes. Bob's points? Sorry, can I change it? I'm not, I have, I'm not sure if there is a car wash within the proposals, but one thing to answer that. Hey. Yeah, uh, just hold on a second. I, I, um, I, I don't think there is, a, uh, but I'm just uh, double checking the plans. A uh, just my uh, apologies for that. I, I certainly read the full report. I don't see in for a car wash. No. I know there's a car wash right across the road. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure there's not. But I'm. I'm. I'm just double checking. A uh, just not. Well, there's an interruption to the meeting, convener. Can I just interrupt a sec? Councillor Goldsack is saying he can't get in, and Councillor Douglas seems to have been disconnected. He was in, he was in earlier. Councillor Douglas has seen him in. Uh, okay. You just the Councillor Douglas. Convener, I'm back in, but I'm now on two screens for some reason. I'm having issues for some reason, but I'm back on. Best to go out completely, Trevor, and come back in again, uh, because you'll get an echo otherwise. Twice 
Uh, sorry about that, Lee. Uh, no, there's no car wash proposed as part of the proposal. Okay, well, anything else you might have to Thank you for that. I was only interested in the fact that it might add to the local uh, businesses that, that are already being impacted. Um, luckily, that guy's not going to be affected, I don't think. But it still goes that uh, there's a whole load of things in there that I feel are being overridden because uh, it, it's a company that is. Uh, I'm not happy about it, but as I say, it's just a, a point of uh, interest to the, the, the members. Thanks, Bob. So we'll go back. The recommendation is Grant. Is there anyone otherwise minded? Convener, Councillor Fotheringham's looking to come in. Come, Councillor. Good morning. Uh, I just again, I wanted to voice my concerns. There is a lot of um, negativity from the locals regarding that, so I'm going on the basis more of the objections that's been submitted and actually the local voices being heard. That um, the concern I have is there would then be three McDonald's restaurants. Um, in the space of three miles. Now, I don't know if that is the reason to, on planning grounds, to refuse the, the application, but certainly um, on the basis of the, the voices of the local community, then I would move to reject the application. Okay. Can anyone second that? Bob Burgess? Yes, I would second that. The recommendation is grant. Uh, that that would be the motion, and the amendment will be to refuse. Jim, Councillor Curran, um, can can you second the motion? the motion. Sorry. Right. Could I have I'll someone to move and second the motion, please? I'll second, second the motion. Someone to move it as well. Right. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll move it, Jack. Moved by Bill Shields, second by Jim Log. Is that correct? Correct. Over to you. Right, colleagues, we've, we've got a proposal from um, Councillor uh, Shields, um, secondly by Councillor Logue, which would be the motion that the application is granted. Councillor Fotheringham, secondly by Councillor Burgess, um, has moved reject, to reject the application, or refuse the application, sorry, so that would be the amendment. So I'll go through each of the elected members one by one, asking where they're going for the motion to grant or the amendment to refuse. Um, so we'll start off with Councillor Anderson. Motion. Councillor Beveridge, an apology. Councillor Burgess. Amendment. I don't think Councillor uh, Coyle or uh, Michael Coyle or Sophia Coyle are on the call. I'm on, Mark. Uh, amendment. No. Amendment for Councillor Sophia Coyle. Um, Councillor Curran. Motion. Didn't hear that. Sorry, Aye. motion. Councillor Douglas. Can I abstain, please? Because I actually missed the conversation eh, and I, I don't feel I'm able to vote on it when I didn't hear the discussion. Sorry. That's fine, Councillor Douglas. Councillor Farouk. Amendment. Councillor Fotheringham. Amendment. Councillor Goldsack, I don't think, is on the call yet. Um, Councillor Graham. Motion. Councillor Johnston. Oh. Amendment. Councillor Kelly. Motion. Councillor Lennon. Amendment. Councillor Logue. Motion. Councillor McGregor's not on the, the, the meeting. Councillor McLaren. Motion. Councillor McPake. Motion. Don't think Councillor McVeigh has been able to connect yet. Um, Councillor Quigley. Motion. Councillor Reading is, is not on the call. Councillor Shields. Motion. I see Councillor McVeigh there. Is Councillor McVeigh now on? Apologies, I'll go, I'll go back to Councillor McVeigh. Councillor McVeigh. Um, Motion. Councillor Stocks. Motion. Councillor Stubbs, I don't think, is on the call. Um, Councillor Watson. A motion. Motion. Um, following the, the roll call vote, colleagues, um, there was six for the amendment 
12 for the motion and one abstention, so the application is granted. Thank you very much. We'll go back to parties 49 to 59, and it's Taylor One Pay erection of 535 two story dwellings with associated roads, infrastructure, and landscaping at Gam Queen Farm, Main Street, Glenboig, and the recommendation is Grant. Agreed. 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 Thank you very much. The next one is pages 60 to 83, EDF Renewables, section 42, application to vary conditions, one, two, and four of the planning permission. And it's to increase the operational period of turbines from 25 years to 30 years, and to allow an increase in height to blade tip to the consented turbines from 138.5 metres to 149.9. West Ben, ben Har, Winds Farm, north of Ribbon Cottage, Ben Har, Shots, Recommendation is grant. Great. 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 Applications pages 84 to 96, enterprise and housing new supply, and it's a residential development of 21 dwellings and a mix of terraced houses and cottage flats at MacArthur Avenue, Glen Mavis. Recommendation is grant. Great. 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 Pages 97 to 103, Transform Schools, North Lanarkshire Limited, change your use of ground floor office to a community library, and it's temporary, seven Buchanan Gate steps, and the recommendation is grant. Convener Councillor Anderson's looking to come in. Thanks, Chair. Um, there's lots I could say about this whole fiasco, uh, but none of them are material considerations relating to this planning application. I'm a bit concerned about the number of car parking spaces. This is right on the very edge. Currently, the library is in the middle of the village, and a lot of parents um, with toddlers and babies and stuff go to the library, as well as elderly people. So most people are going to be forced to drive there uh, and park, and I don't think there's going to be enough parking spaces. Normally, there's a, there's a problem up in that whole area because Scottish Water um, hot desk, so the car park's quite small for them. So they park around at, at this area. There's a there's there's spare ground that's that's full of cars all the time. Obviously, it's different the current COVID situation, but I don't I don't think it will be adequate going forward. We can move with that. Can someone answer the councillor Anderson's points? You're, Tim, you're, you're still on mute. Councillor Anderson, you'll note in the report that we did consult with our kind of roads colleagues, and whilst they noted some of your your concerns about the parking position up in uh, that uh, industrial area, they were, were looking for 10 spaces, which has been provided by the applicant, and there will be kind of marked out and designated spaces. Um, some of the library use, I guess, will be out with the hours of, of business use as well. Um, but uh, the long and short of it was we, we didn't have any um, reason to refuse it based on our, our roads colleagues' uh, comments because they have provided the back in the sort. Martin Andrews, how long is temporary? Uh, they were looking for for two years initially. This is just to cover the the, the works that the remedial works that have been undertaken at the school. Quite happy with that, Lynn. Yes, thank you. Decisions got is that agreed? Agreed. 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 Pages 104-115, Dullater Golf Club and Smart Group, Residential Development in Principle. Dullater Golf Club, 1A Glen Douglas Drive, Craig Marlott, Cumbernauld, and the recommendation is Grant. Agreed. 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 Pages 116 to 120, Miss Marguerite Modica, change of use from car garage class 5 to a dance studio class 10, 16B Garrow Road, Kilsyth, and the recommendation is Grant. Agreed. 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 Thank you. 
Next item is item four, planning and enforcement appeals decision, pages one, two, three, one, two, four. There, just for noting. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. And item five is a confirmation of a tree preservation order at land at Cleland Hospital, Bellside Road, Cleland. Agreed on that report. Agreed. 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 Hey, colleagues, thank you very much. Thanks for your attendance.